Hey everybody, this is Pam, aka Electric Banderella, coming at you from St. Louis for my weekly update. I usually do my updates on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I waited till Thursday this week because I wanted to hit a full seven days um, on the uh, <laughs> diet enforced detox. Um, as I said in a previous video, I my oncologist suggests I see this naturopath. Um, she is trying to tweak my diet to see um, what's been causing me some issues and her first thing that she wanted eliminated from my diet was um, dairy and um, she didn't like the fact that I was drinking caffeine so she told me there was no value in the caffeine that I was drinking that the only thing it was doing was raising my blood pressure and um, causing some other issues so Last Friday was my first day non-dairy, non-caffeinated. So, everyone has been inquiring this week how things were going and how my headaches were. I am happy to tell you all that I had absolutely zero caffeine withdrawal headaches. Um, and when I reported this to the doctor, she said that um, her estimation was that I probably wasn't taking in as much caffeine as I originally thought I was. Um, and when I say caffeine, a lot of people are like, oh, you were drinking soda? <laughs> no, I wasn't drinking soda. Um, I am a black tea drinker. I could live on Earl Grey and um, various other teas. I drink Earl Grey, Mrs. Earl Grey, Darjeeling, uh, Oolong. And I could keep naming all kinds of teas that I drink. Um, and I lived on Dutch Snapple. So, she said in her estimation that I probably just wasn't taking as much in as I thought I was. Um, she said, you know, if I was a coffee drinker, she would have been more concerned, but um, this uh, didn't concern her. Um, so, knock on wood, I didn't. Um, she also was guessing it was because the tea that I was drinking also. I was drinking the Yogi Detox Tea and the Yogi Healthy Fasting Tea. She said there's, sorry about that, um, I turned a corner and there you went. Um, she said there's some herbs or something in there that um, might have assisted in the withdrawal symptoms. So, yep, yeah. Um, what else? So, living without dairy has been... Um, I won't say impossible, I won't say difficult, um, different for me. I put cheese on everything. I eat cheese, I love cheese, I love different kinds of cheese. Um, I don't drink milk, so that hasn't been an issue, but um, I've had to make sure just various things that I eat don't have milk in them, namely my salad dressings. Um, so I've had to adjust there. I was going to make the butternut squash crab bisque. I can't make that because that calls for um, heavy whipping cream. So there went that. Um, she wants me not to have my protein powder. She said that whey isolate is not derived from dairy, but some people who have dairy intolerance could have issues with it. I don't know. Um, I've had to stay away from chocolate. You have no idea. Um, so, I don't know. How am I doing on it? Um, doing awesome. Um, as I've said before in other videos, I am an narcoleptic. So, when I would wake up in the morning, I would be dragging ass. Um, I can't tell you how bad I'd be dragging. And now, I kind of just, I'm up. Hello, good morning. Um, very unusual for me. And um, the best perk of all, I was previously taking 300 milligrams of ProVigil daily. Um, was it Monday? I took 100 milligrams. Yesterday, I took 50 milligrams. And today, I've only had 50 milligrams. Significantly. Um, reduced my intake of medication to control things. I've not been tired. Um, I've had numerous um, people
people in the office and other friends tell me that um, my demeanor is different. I'm not crabby. I'm not cranky, which um, leads back to because I'm not tired. Um, so, yeah, it's been a big difference. I don't wake up every morning full of mucus anymore. Um, when I'm exercising, my nose is not running incessantly because of mucus. So, um, there you go. That's what dairy, being dairy-free does for you. So, the um, health aspects of being off dairy have far exceeded my irritation with not having it. So, um, because that's what I, I just consider. It's an irritation. You know, I'm used to putting cheese and everything. And, uh, the sad fact of the matter was I didn't have the issues that I've been having probably in the last year, in my first year of abandoned life, because I didn't let cheese in my diet because I was so freaked out about the calories and the fat from it. So, significant, significant changes. So... Okay, I just have to tell you, I just passed Dairy Queen, and I'm not craving it. That's not what it is. Um, Dairy Queen now has free Wi-Fi. That don't get you in what does. Um, so yeah, that was just my little funny tidbit for the day. Um, what was my weight loss for the week? So, previous weeks I was 211 something. Um, this week I was 210.2, so that's about a pound loss. Um, I was expecting more, I'm not going to lie to anyone, but I'm happy that it's one pound because it's one less pound than I weighed last week. Um, but I can tell you that the bloating in my stomach has gone down significantly. I didn't take my measurements for today, um, but I can tell just by the way my clothes are fitting that um, the whole bloat is gone. Um, I, I just don't, I don't feel... Um, Loaded. I don't wake up in the morning with uh, my hands swollen, none of that. So, I seriously um, can feel the health benefits of being off it. And just in this week, um, astonished by the fact that, that a food could be seriously affecting my entire life in such a negative way um, and not realizing it and at the same time I can tell you how extremely irritated with my doctors that I am um, you know my doctor for my narcolepsy I continually asked him is there a food aspect of this that something might be aggravating my narcolepsy no um, when I told him I had to go, I had to stop drinking Diet Coke and be off of caffeine when I was first banded, he was like, how the hell are you going to do that? You're narcoleptic. You need that caffeine boost. Never recommended I go off caffeine. Um, so I'm really irritated there. Um, I've asked my primary doctor about different things with foods and things like that. You know, he's never said shit about it. Um, I'm blessed that my oncologist that recommended the naturopath is a DO. Um, so he believes in finding the root cause of the issue and not just treating the problem that you have at hand. Like say that you say I go in and um, my elbow, elbow hurts because I have gout. Um, he's not just going to treat that pain in your elbow. He's going to get to the root cause of what's causing the gout to hurt your elbow so you know that's the difference when an MD and a DO um so um, I'm blessed the fact that he said hey wait I think it might be a dietary thing and let's involve a, a holistic healer so um at least he did that um so that's my update um I don't really have anything else to throw in there this week um as far as evaluating my week and uh if I could have lost more my food was very spot on my you know I've had a difficult time getting in my calories period um she doesn't want me going under a thousand so you know really taking cheese out has really really hit me as far as uh calorie wise of being able to get up to it I never realized um, 
how many calories that cheese was throwing into, um, you know, everything. So, and not to mention the sodium in cheese, my God, um, ridiculous. So just working on that, um, exercise has been spot on. I've exercised every day except for Sunday. Um, Sunday was my day off after my, uh, cave, um, cliff, you know, trail hiking experience. Um, you know, I'm really bruised and battered from that and I just needed that extra, um, day off to recover because I didn't even get out of my pajamas on Sunday. Um, and I find a new bruise every day. So, uh, but I've worked through it during the week. So my act, like I said, my exercise spot on. Um, so that's not the case. So, and I get my water and I drink a hundred, between a hundred and 140 daily. So that's not an issue either. So I think it's just my body's adapting and, you know, trying to get that balance. It's all about balance and, uh, that's what I'm working on. So that's my update for the week and I hope to, um, talk to you guys again, um, for Becca's seven week challenge in a little while. Maybe I'll go home and change my clothes just so I don't look the same when I make that video. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.